Hello and welcome to Pursuit of Perfect Systems Best Products of 2018 video. My name is Terry Ellis. I'm an audio reviewer and a Dirac Live calibrator. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and I hope Father Christmas brought you everything that you asked him for. I personally received a piece of coal, which probably means next year I need to be a much better boy. 2018, wow, what a really interesting year for me personally. There was lots of firsts, lots of surprises, Prizes, lots of firsts and new things. I got to meet lots of new people. I got to meet a lot of you as well. The channel has grown really well, coming up to 8,000 subscribers and over 2.3 million video views. I'm really, really proud of that. It's been a hell of a lot of hard work and I want to thank everybody who's been following the channel, watching the channel and supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. I just want to remind you that I do have a Patreon account set up in the name of Pursuit of Perfect System. Now, I want to continue to make this channel bigger and better and in order to really do that, I need to get as much financial support as I can for obvious reasons. The Patreon's there and I'm hoping the loyal subscribers, the guys and girls that watch every single video might consider becoming a Patreon member, donating a really small amount of money a month, maybe just a pound or a dollar, lots of small amounts add up and then I can reinvest that money back into the channel to make these videos better for you. Let's get on with my best products of 2018. Now in actual fact I'm going to go right back to when the channel started about 18 months ago and really include all of those products right up until now. All the accolades that I'm going to award are all for products that I've either fully reviewed or spent some serious time listening to. That doesn't include the five or ten minutes I sometimes have at shows. It needs to be serious listening time. And I'm also going to break things down into several categories and I'm going to start with Bluetooth products. Best Bluetooth products of 2018. Now I haven't reviewed loads of Bluetooth products but I have reviewed some very good ones. Obviously I reviewed the Kef Muo as a pair and I like them so much that I actually bought the review pair. A better sounding but more expensive Bluetooth speaker is the BenQ Travolo 2. That was a fantastic and really interesting Bluetooth product. But my best Bluetooth product of the year is actually the Audiolab MDAC Nano. Now I've found myself using the MDAC Nano pretty much every single day purely because I just cannot go back to using the sound straight out of my smartphone and worse than that the thought of being tethered to my smartphone is actually an unbearable thought. So the Audiolab MDAC Nano for about, uh, what, what does it cost, about £150 is money seriously well spent. It's a fantastic little unit. I've used mine so much, in fact, that I dropped it the other day. Unfortunately, it came apart. I reassembled it and I sellotaped it all back together because I, I just didn't want to be without it. I literally use it pretty much every day. So the award for Pursuit of Perfect Systems Best Bluetooth Products of 2018 very much deservedly goes to the Audio Lab. MDAC Nano. Best headphones product of the year 2018. Again, I haven't reviewed loads of headphones, but I have reviewed some really good ones from the likes of Focal with the Alia and the Utopias with Kef, the likes of the Space Ones and the M500. I've actually spent time with lots of different IEMs, but they've mostly been so bad, didn't dare do a review for them. I want to make a mention of a Hero product, the iFi Audio IDSD BL Black Label. Now, I reviewed that maybe 12 months or so ago. And again, it was such a good product that I actually bought the review sample. Now, I did a written review for the website, but because it was so good, I used it as a headphone amplifier and DAC to create about 90% of the videos that you've seen in the last 12 or more months. So very special mention goes out to the iFi Audio IDSDBL, but my headphone product of the year 2018 actually goes to the AudioQuest Night Owl Carbons. They are absolutely fantastic headphones. I thought they was fantastic headphones at the original retail price of about £650, but just recently AudioQuest decided to discontinue the model, so they were selling off stock at about half price, at about £350. So these are not perfect headphones, they're also quite big as you can see, but they're so comfortable. You can wear them for hours and hours and hours, as I have. I found them to be absolutely outstanding headphones to wear for all different manner of uses. So 
very well deserved. Pursuit of Perfect System best headphone product of 2018 goes to AudioQuest for the Night Owl Carbons. Right, Hi-Fi necessity of the year 2018. Anybody that's a regular to the channel will know just how much importance I put on certain types of what some would class as tweaks, others like me would class as necessity based products, especially ones that are looking at or based around vibration within products. Now the Plinth Design Ceradisc products, the Ceradisc and the Ceradisc 12 are currently my go-to isolation based necessity products. For what they cost, for the performance improvements that they can bring, they really are outstanding. Now, a slightly different solution I've been listening to and reviewing recently is from a company, HRS, Harmonic Resolution Systems. Now, they work in a slightly different way, but they're also a very interesting product, and there'll be more on them coming soon. Another very interesting hi-fi necessity product is Furitex NCF, or the Furitex NCF booster range now that product range came as a real surprise to me despite being you know an avid furitech fan i hadn't tried the ncf products because they seemed quite far-fetched in description even for someone like me however after trying them and doing a b comparisons they more than proved and justified themselves to me and i now use them as a staple part of my review system however for me the Pursuit of Perfect System Hi-Fi Necessity of 2018 actually goes to ISO Acoustics with their Gaia speaker isolators. Now, I attended several shows this year and, and listened to and filmed different AB demonstrations in different rooms with different speakers, and the Gaia has proved themselves to me time and time again. But it's nothing like getting some in in your own system, in your own room that you're familiar with, with speakers that you're familiar with. And I did my AB comparisons with my own Kef Reference 3 speakers, and the, the ISO Acoustics guys absolutely blew me. And I know a lot of you at home away with the improvements that they made, even to speakers that are engineered that well. So it's a very easy one to award ISO Acoustics with Pursuit of Perfect Systems Best Necessity Product of 2018. Best Power Product of 2018. Now I haven't made many specific reviews on power based products but I'm constantly using different power cables, different power conditioners within the review system and I'm talking about them all the time and I've spent some serious time with some seriously good products from the likes of AudioQuest, Telerium Q, Isotech and XLO and these products are being used throughout every single song demonstration video that I've created for this channel since it started. But the product I want to award, Pursuit of Perfect Systems Best Power Product of 2018 is actually the AudioQuest Niagara 7000. When it went into my review system, I absolutely loved and have quietly been missing it ever since. Moving on to everybody's favorite topic, cables, and my best analog cables of the year, 2018. Now really this is going to be aimed at one company in particular because I've spent a lot of time with different products from Telerium Q and after spending time with different products within different levels in the range and doing comparisons between the different products they have within their ranges it's one thing that's been completely evident and clear to me is that they are absolutely fantastic analog cables right from the bottom of the range right through to the very top of the range. Now I had a brief experience with the Telerium Q statement power cables which took stayed with me for about a month I could not get that experience out of my mind those cables are absolutely amazingly outstanding but I didn't spend enough time with those for them to be put included in this it got me to thinking through all the different cables that I've spent time with I spent a lot of time with the company's other top of the range products the black diamond and the silver diamond and the more time you spend with those cables the more you appreciate them the more difficult it is to go back to anything else however the time I spent with the company's entry level black two speaker cables really was a standout moment for me this year for about 250 pounds to 300 pounds depending on the length the telerium q black two speaker cables are just absolutely outstanding 
products in general, absolutely outstanding value for money. And I think it's that value for money prospect for a lot of audio files that might encourage them to try those speaker cables out in the first place. And I think once you've tried those, you're gonna feel a hell of a lot more confident trying the more expensive products within the Telerium Q range because if you like them, you're gonna absolutely love what comes above them. That's a pursuit of perfect system guarantee. So really this award goes to Telerium Q as a company in general, but specifically for the Black 2 speaker cables, they are definitely pursuit of perfect systems, best analog cables of 2018. Now moving on to digital cables, I've used a lot of different digital cables this year from the likes of AudioQuest, from XLO, from Nordoist, again from Telerium Q, and more recently from a new company, Wave High Fidelity. And for me, it's the Wave High Fidelity cables that have had the biggest impression on me. In particular, the Storm Reference. It's a big cable, it's a heavy cable, it's a different digital cable that was able to edge out in performance another digital cable that I'd held in extreme high regard and I honestly did not expect it to do it. It came as a real surprise. And since then, I've used other products from Wave High Fidelity in there, stream cables, linking cord electronics, stack products together, and they've proved themselves in that use as well. So Pursuit Perfect System Best Digital Cable of 2018 goes to Wave High Fidelity with their Storm Reference Cable. Sticking with the theme of digital, this is moving into a very interesting area, Best Digital Product of 2018. Now that's such a broad title, I need to break it down. The Cured Electronics Cutest Stack seems to be the big award winner this year, winning product of the year across loads of the industry press. Now if you remember, I was one of the first press to get my hands on a Cutest Stack and I was hugely impressed with it. I still am, it's still being used in this reference system today. However, for me, it's not the best DAC of the year. It probably is the best value DAC, but it's not the best DAC for me. And Pursuit of Perfect System, the best DAC of 2018 is actually the Cord Electronics Dave. Now I know it wasn't released in 2018, but I reviewed it in 2018. And it's the DAC I now really, really, really want. The performance bar that it sets and the performance jump up to what it can produce is so high that it's easily the best DAC of 2018 for Pursuit of Perfect System. But our best digital products continue. There's another area that's extremely important to Pursuit of Perfect System, our review system, and that's digital software. The softwares that we use in our dedicated music server. Now I always use Dirac Live as part of the music and review system that you guys hear all the time. And for me, it's essential. I would not listen without it. So for that reason alone, I have to award Dirac Live a best digital product software for 2018. Now I need to award another product best digital software for 2018 because JPlay, a product that's been at the heart and soul of my audio system for a number of years, this year released an absolute game changer for computer audio in JPlay Femto. I don't know how the JPlay guys do it. They seem to repeatedly make changes and improvements to JPlay that it just takes the sound quality of a computer to another level, then another level, then another level that you wouldn't even expect is even possible from a computer as a source. So JPay Femto, when that was released a couple of months ago, absolutely blew me away. The better the system's got in here just recently, the more I've heard of just how great JPay Femto is. So very, very easy to award best digital product software of 2018 from Pursuit of Perfect System. But wait, there's one more best digital product of 2018. While we're talking game changers, I've recently experienced firsthand in the review system the benefits of the Cord Electronics Hugo M Scaler. And I said several months ago that it was gonna be a game changer and after experiencing it recently, it is a digital audio game changer product. It is absolutely outstanding. The Hugo M Scaler, I haven't done a full review for it yet, that is coming, but I've spent some serious time with it. I have to award it Pursuit of Perfect Systems Best Digital Product of 2018 as well, because it really is that good. Moving on to another interesting category, the Best Amplifier of the Year 2018. Wow, this is a hard one. I've had some outstanding amplifiers in here in the last 18 months from companies like 
Mark Levinson, Macintosh, YBA, Musical Fidelity, Luxman, Lima Acoustics, Unison Research, and more and more. It's been an incredible 18 months for me to experience all these different amplifiers. And it's so difficult to choose an absolute best one. I'm gonna break it down into two. Pursuit Perfect Systems Best Integrated Amplifier 2018 to the Luxman L509X. That amplifier is just special, special, special. And it just speaks for itself. So an easy one to award. The best integrated amplifier for 2018 to Luxman for the L509X. But what is the best power amplifier of 2018? Well, that's also quite an easy one. As you can see in front of me, the time I've spent with the Macintosh MC275 has been quite a revelation, actually, to spend some serious time with a tube amplifier, to spend time with such a legendary, iconic, designed amplifier that's been around for so long and it's been a real joy to spend time with this so it's very very easy for me and pursuit of perfect system to award the best power amplifier to macintosh for the mc275 what a thing this is home cinema product of the year 2018 now i haven't reviewed loads and loads of home cinema products but i've spent a lot of time this year with one both in my own system and going out and and calibrating Dirac Live for quite a few customers. And that is the Arcam AVR850. Now I reviewed that maybe a year ago and spoke very highly of it, but I didn't realize just how good it was until recently when I've been out setting up other people's Dirac Lives and their full systems. And you hear how good it is from room to room, different system to different system. And you realize just how capable that is as an overall home cinema product. So Pursuit of Perfect Systems Best Home Cinema Product of 2018 very, very, very easily goes to Arcam for their AVR 850. That leads me on to my final awards, which is again quite a difficult one, Best Speakers of 2018. Now, actually, the best sounding speakers are the ones that you can see behind me. They are the German Physics Unlimited 2 speakers that I've been reviewing for the last week, but I haven't made any video content for yet. But these are actually the best sounding speakers. But I'm not going to give those the award because other speakers have chipped away and done other things. Now, I've been really impressed with the various Bowles and Wilkins speakers that I've reviewed this year. The continuum material driver in those, the 600 range, the 700 range is absolutely fantastic. For me, I think the best speakers of 2018, the ones that have impressed me the most have been the Kef r7s and again i really wasn't expecting it i think for the asking price of 2700 pounds the level of performance that they're capable of is simply absolutely stunning now they're not perfect speakers but for the majority of audio files they're going to deliver an absolutely outstanding level of performance that will just keep getting better and better and better as you scale up your system over time and for speakers that cost under three thousand pounds to be able to deliver the level of performance that they do they were seriously 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 good speakers absolutely blew me away so it's very easy for me to award kef and the r7s the pursuit of perfect systems best speakers of 2018 so i hope you've enjoyed this video a bit of a look back and a bit of a recap for all the different products that i've looked at in the last 12 to 18 months i've worked really really hard to try and bring you lots of really good videos i've now created well over 500 videos that means i've created over 300 videos this year it's probably getting on for about one a day and in order to do that i have to work some serious hours and work seriously hard to be able to create these videos so i hope you've been enjoying what I've been doing. In terms of what I've personally invested this year, I've invested in new cameras, I've invested in new lights, I've invested in loads of memory. I've had to buy hard drive after hard drive, memory card after memory card. I've been out to all different types of shows. I went out to Munich and covered that for you as well. And I've literally worked my absolute socks off in 2018, but I have bigger and bigger and better plans for 2019. So I want to wish you all a happy new year. I hope 2018 was a great year for everybody, but I wish you all more and greater and better sound quality, better picture quality and just a better year for 2019. 
thank you again for all your support and i'll see you all soon in the next videos there's some seriously good ones coming i can assure you of that and i'll see you all soon happy new year and take care